we have a crisis in our rural communities. Uh, we have a crisis uh, related to the affordability of homes. We have a crisis related to the energy efficiency of those homes. We have an economic crisis in our rural villages. Just their ability to put a roof over their head is very much in question and keeping that, that place warm. Nearly 100 miles above the Arctic Circle lies the small community of Anaktuvik Pass. There are no roads or navigable rivers into the village and few surrounding resources. All other supplies must be flown in, including housing materials. Flying into Anaktuvik can be dangerous and is only permitted in clear conditions. Because the village is in a valley, high-speed winds funnel between the mountains and through the community. In the winter, the wind creates huge snow drifts and whiteout conditions. The wind chill factor regularly makes Anaktuvik the daily winner for the coldest place in Alaska. We see temperatures of 30, 20, 30, 40 below, and it gets really cold here. And it takes a little bit more to heat. You know, we, we, we burn diesel and everything. Now, as the price of fuel increases, the cost of living in Anaktuvik is becoming more difficult. A lot of the housing that's come in over the years has been housing from the south, southern models, so southern construction methods, and they're not really that appropriate to the north. They haven't worked well, they're cold, they're drafty, they're not ventilated properly, the, uh, there's rot and mold issues and things like that. They haven't worked well in terms of energy, they haven't worked well in terms of their durability, and they also largely haven't worked well in many circumstances in terms of their appropriateness to people's lifestyles. Compounding the problem is the high cost of building in rural Alaska. Transporting materials and workers to build homes in the Arctic is difficult and expensive. As a result, there is a waiting list for people to get new housing. Many names have been on that list for 10 years. Located in Fairbanks, the Cold Climate Housing Research Center tests materials and building techniques to build more efficient homes for the circumpolar north. The CCHRC has answered the call to combat rural Alaska's deficient housing. CCHRC has partnered with a number of other agencies to form a project called the Sustainable Northern Shelter. The project aims to break the trend in expensive and poor housing designs by building a series of homes in Anaktuvik Pass and all over the north. Our target is $150,000 to build a house. That's a real challenge in a place like Anaktuvik Pass. Uh, you've got sod, you've got rock and gravel, you've got willing people, and that's a great resource. So what can we get in there by plane uh, that's light, that can be assembled there, that can be simple, that can be affordable? But what should this house look like? How will it fare in a climate above the Arctic Circle? What do residents want in their home, and how will it respect their culture? To answer these questions, the research center flew a team to Anaktuvik Pass to gather information. In a design meeting called a charrette, the team met with the community over a period of three days. Residents spoke to the problems of their current homes and gave suggestions about what the new housing should look like. Jack Bear later demonstrated what a potential house would look like and how it would be constructed in the village. The home is made from light but strong materials and one airplane cargo hold can fit an entire house. After the charrette, the team compiled the recommendations and suggestions of the village. So the plan now is to uh, build a module. That module will demonstrate basically the envelope the outside of this house. The module will be monitored and tested throughout the winter and summer, then dissected in the spring. The research center wants to make sure the experimental design is durable enough for the Arctic climate and more. In November, the CCHRC team returned to Anaktuvik Pass with a floor plan for the new home. The plan combines traditional Alaska housing design with modern technology and architectural techniques while incorporating the thoughts and ideas of the village. 
The research center will take the comments, modify the design, and return to Anaktuvik to build a prototype house. Once summer arrived, it's time to begin construction. Students from Ilisavik College in Barrow were on site to learn construction methods and to build the prototype house. In Alaska's isolated rural communities, there is little economic opportunity. Construction trades related to housing will create jobs for local residents and help alleviate the housing shortage. The floor is completely insulated with foam to avoid heat transferring into the surrounding soils. Wiring and mechanical is installed within the metal studs from the outside prior to the application of insulation. It is essential that ventilation be well designed since the demonstration house is extremely airtight. An innovative system is installed that uses both mechanical ventilation and traditional means to provide fresh air. Fire resistant coating is applied on all interior wood surfaces. Paint colors were chosen to create a bright and durable surface. Sod was harvested in several small patches in places that it would recover quickly. This local resource has provided a traditional building material for thousands of years. An on-site sewage treatment plant will safely process and discharge all wastewater. This alleviates the need to connect the home with the local utility. Berming is placed around the structure to buffer it from the wind and to minimize winter snow drift. The house is designed to use very little oil in one of the coldest communities in North America. Estimates show this house will use less than 150 gallons of fuel consumption seasonally. With the prototype home completed, a family will soon move in. It is important that the new owners understand the home is a system, so CCHRC developed an operations manual and explain the different parts of the building. Overall, we are happy with how this house turned out. Um, it is a prototype, so there are things that we're learning through it and things that we're learning to change next time. Um, but overall, things are turning out the way we expected them to. We want a house that's incredibly energy efficient and affordable and that a family is happy to live in. And I see all of those things happening. So I, I think we've got a great start, but it's a start. Uh, and maybe the first step is always the hardest one, but I think, uh, I think these first steps will get in pretty quick into a fairly fast walk, and I'm hoping a lot of momentum over time. It's just the beginning. We've planted a, a small seed that's now, now growing, but what we want to see is a sustainable community. Uh, and what they want to see is a sustainable community. This has implications well beyond this beautiful little village in the Brooks Range. We'll see where it goes.